ahead and record this. Um, so it's going to be a little longer just because we were at Summit. I know that you guys were all staring at pictures. Um, so Summit next year is in Indianapolis. Right now until the 23rd or the 24th, I think it is, you can get your ticket for $145. Okay, $145. Think about that. If you help three people, which is your goal in general to help at least three people a month? There's $150 that you just earned. Put that money toward your ticket. You are not going to be thinking about $145 in 365 days. Invest in yourself and in your business. I'm telling you guys, the second you are around all of those people, I mean, first off, it's going to be overwhelming as hell, but like, it's just so cool. It's so cool to be around that many people, to just feel like, this is so much bigger than my freaking living room. Um, this, and it just goes to show all the people that are following you, like, okay, she's, she's taking this seriously. She's not just doing this to do this. Like, she's going to events. She's showing up. She's doing training. She's around top coaches. Like, that is so cool, okay? Um, so they're 145 right now. Now, if you're a new coach, okay, and it's like your first month, you can earn your ticket for free, okay? All you have to do is become a success starter, a success starter, and tell all of your new coaches this as well, okay? So this is, even if you are not a new coach right now, you want to tell all of your new coaches this. Um, yes, I'll send the picture then. Um, tell your new coaches that if they sign up and they help three people the first three months of their business, so three people in the first month, three people in the second, three people in the third, they earn their ticket to Summit for free. Huge incentive, okay? So one of the cool things about Summit is they were telling us that try to get prospects to events, okay? So every quarter, we do a super Saturday. Sometimes they're on a Sunday, so they're like a super Sunday. You can Google these. I will announce when the next one's coming up. I want to say it's sometime in like maybe September. Don't hold me to that. Um, and basically Super Saturday, it's just a one day event. Um, they're like all around the country and coaches run that. Um, it was really cool. I got to meet Sam at one of the first Super Saturdays, which was awesome. And just training, um, try to do some research though, because some of them can be a little cheesy to be honest. Um, but they're really cool and you can take people with them or take people to them with you. Okay. So I usually buy two tickets. Um, and I will just like, if I have somebody that I'm talking to that I think would make an awesome coach, getting them to like come with you is really cool. So even though I'm not a fan of Mary Kay and I was in it, one of the things that I loved about Mary Kay was that every Monday we did like, we had these meetings We had to like dress up and go to these meetings. And the goal was to bring four to five people with you. And if you brought a guest, they would all receive a gift. So it was really cool to kind of get them all to like, see what it is that we do and get them involved. We should do that as coaches, okay? Events are huge, if not for you, for the people that you're talking to. So the first just 20 minutes of this call, I'm just going to announce what's happening new in Beachbody, what to take advantage of, and then just pretty much rattle off the notes that I took. And then I'm gonna let Ashley share just like being a new coach, being at Summit, what it was like so that all of you can get super excited about it. So please be taking notes. Um, so the first thing was I shared a photo already in our team page about the things that are coming out that are super exciting. Number one is we are launching in the UK in October. So what can you do now to prepare for it? Something super effing simple. Create a Wix, W-I-X, or any website, create a landing page, just a landing page. So what's a landing page? If you've ever gone to like a website that's been like brand new or a website where they're kind of like changing things up, it's, you can't do anything from that page. It'll basically just be like website coming soon or something coming soon. It's just one page. Basically, you can design it where you can say like, team let your soul shine. We're launching in the UK in October. If you're interested in checking out what we have going on right now, a little bit about our team, asking questions, blah, 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 please share your information below. So basically just their name, if they're from Instagram, if they're on Facebook, and then contact information. Start to build the relationship now 
so that come October, you have people that are already signing up and they know what's going on and they know what they can be involved with. So right now, I am adding hashtags to my Instagram post because all of us have at least, thir or not at least, at most 30 hashtags on every single post that you share to Instagram. Do not share a photo to Instagram if you do not have 30 hashtags to it. Okay, there's no point in doing it because the people that are already following you, they're already following you. The whole idea of having hashtags is to expand your network. Instead of doing fit girl fam, fit girl fam UK. Instead of doing hashtag um, sweat sesh, hashtag sweat sesh UK, crazily enough, there's a million of them just with UK at the end. So just do them. You're going to get new people coming to you. Now, you don't have to make every hashtag with UK at the end of them, but you kind of get the idea. Just have a couple so that people start to follow you a little bit more. Um, and so that's really exciting. The other exciting thing is we are coming out with a new program, and it is called Double Time. It looks a little cheesy, but if you word it and market it the right way, I think it could be pretty cool. So basically, it's the first Beachbody program that requires you to have a partner to do it. So I love Tony Horton. He's awesome. He's P90X creator, the first program Beachbody ever had. People know him. So my, I, my piece of advice as far as marketing this is roommates in college. Okay, market it to best friends. Okay, everyone's always talking about how, well, I need to go to the gym. I need to be in front of people to work out. Um, I can't do it at my house on my own. Okay, well, what about you and your girlfriend? Do you have a best friend? Do it with her. Or if you have a girl that you know that maybe like a young mom or even a middle-aged mom, does she have kids? They could do it together. Okay, so many people are like, oh, I can't work out because my kids are at home. Okay, work out with your kid. The only piece of equipment that they need is a ball. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like you can just go to like Walmart and just get like a ball, I guess. Um, or like wherever, Kohl's, no, I guess not Kohl's. Um, like, yeah, just Walmart, just go to Walmart. Walmart has everything. Um, and basically, it, it looks really cool. So. Um, you can market it to couples, older people, people that are just at home, um, people that might be going through like recovery that were recovering from an injury because it's pretty low impact. You only need one piece of equipment. Again, it's called double time. So that's coming out this fall. The one thing I'm really excited about is clean week. Okay. So the whole idea behind this is sometimes when we run a free group, you might have offered somebody to go to your website and make you their free coach and then get a 30 day trial to beach body on demand. Right. But then the problem is, is that we sometimes forget to tell them to cancel their subscription and they get charged and they're like, eh, and get mad at you. And then they don't trust you. The whole idea behind clean week is it's one time order and nothing happens after that. They're not automatically up. Um, they're not automatically like set up for, um, a renewal or any other fees after that one time. Okay. So the whole idea behind it is if you want to run a free group, a free sweaty selfie challenge. So basically it's a group where all they do is post their sweaty selfies. They will get seven. They get, actually nod your head. It was seven workouts, four workouts. Yeah. Four, uh, yeah. Four workouts. Megan Davies is the trainer. She's the new super, um, the new beach body super trainer. Okay. She's super cute. So they're going to get four workouts. They're going to get a week's worth of shake, the, the Shakeology sampler pack. Okay. Um, and then the workouts, it's going to be a hit workout, strength training workout, like a cardio workout, strength training, repeat the rest. Uh, there's one to like increase flexibility. I think cardio, Strength training, maybe abs, no. Yeah, it was like a core workout. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, it was like that. So they can kind of like get a little bit of each of them. So the nice thing about it is that each of the workouts, they're going to be like, this is a move from 21 day fix, lower fix. So that when they sign up then for the all access pass, they've already been familiar with some of the workouts, okay? It could be even like, this is a move from core to force so that they sign up and they're like, Hey, I really like that one move. And she mentioned it was like core to force. You can get them set up with core to force. Okay. So this is going to come out again in this fall. 
So run a free group, just run a free group, get them set up with clean week. You don't have to worry about them getting charged anything afterward. So it's basically like a preview into the all access pass. Um, it's going to be pretty cheap. I think it's like less than $50 just to kind of get them steps to get the try Shakeology, try some of the workouts, be familiar with beach body on demand, be familiar with a super trainer and just have an accountability group through you. Um, okay. So those are like the biggest announcements. The other thing that's really, 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 really cool is they're now doing a diamond pool. Okay. This is a huge incentive guys. Before you were not eligible to get um, like a star diamond, they're called star diamond bonuses until you hit two star diamond. What is two star diamond? You become a diamond rank, which is, it looks like this. Okay. It'd be you. You have one, two, three, four coaches on one side and four coaches on the other side. One coach on each leg has to be emerald. So they each have their own two. Okay, so all you're responsible for is getting eight coaches signed up and then helping one person on each side become an emerald, okay? So when you are two-star diamond, that means that you yourself are a diamond coach and you have two diamonds on your team, okay? So that was the first rank that you are eligible or were eligible for a diamond bonus or diamond pool bonus. So what does the pool mean? Basically, they take the average of all of the two-star diamonds in the company. They average out um, a bonus. I don't really know where, exactly where the bonus comes from. And then it's um, divided up among all of the two-star diamonds. So the um, last two-star diamond bonus was like $937, okay? And that's quarterly. Okay, what's cool then is when you become a five-star diamond, you get the five-star diamond bonus and the two-star diamond bonus. When you're 10-star, you get the 10-star diamond bonus, the five-star, and the two-star. Pretty cool how that all adds up. Um, $29.99 for the clean week. Thank you, Ash. So the cool thing about, what was it? Um, so the cool thing about not being diamond is you can earn a bonus up to $250. Okay, that would be the diamond pool. So just a $250 bonus every quarter just for holding diamond rank. Another huge incentive for hitting diamond. So I hope that all of you have one of these printed out. Okay, a diamond tracker. It doesn't matter what your diamond tracker looks like. Just go to Google and type in Beachbody diamond tracker. Print one out. And as you sign coaches up, fill them in the stars or the circles or whatever form it is that you printed out. Okay. When you see it, it makes it more real. All right. So I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about um, how this works or what's going on. Um, okay. So the first thing that we talked about was I'm going to say some coaches' names to you. If you guys want to YouTube them, Facebook them, Instagram them, whatever. The first person was Mindy Weber. She's a 15 star diamond coach. So Mindy Weber, she talked about belief. She was on stage. It was pretty cool. Um, she was literally broke. Um, she had filed bankruptcy three times. Her and her husband had filed bankruptcy three times. Okay. She basically said that she was just overwhelmed, unhappy, unhealthy, and she was over it, but it took her a while to actually get it. She was going through the motions. She was showing up. She was doing the vital behaviors but she wasn't consistent. She was sometimes following up, sometimes inviting, but just never really, it just never really clicked for her. And I feel like this is still for me. Like I still feel for me personally that it hasn't clicked yet. Like I know what I'm working for, but I haven't gone like full 100% into this. And I'm 20 months in. So don't feel discouraged if you feel like you've been here for a while and it hasn't just clicked yet for you. You're not the only one. Um, but she pretty much was saying that like, she's like, so I have invites, I have this group, I'm running these challenges and I felt like I was doing it, but something just like wasn't working. And she realized that she was lacking personal development. So one of the biggest things that I took away from her talk was that she was really big on having like 
mindset personal development. So like big magic, universe has your back, you are a badass kind of stuff. But then on the flip side, having things like GoPro, the slight edge, the compound effect, GoPro, if I didn't just say that, um, get over your damn self, uh, things like that. So you kind of have like mindset, you're awesome, be amazing, you can do anything you want. But then at the same time, network marketing. Okay, you need to be reading business personal development too. Hands down, that's what I suck in. That's what I suck in. Um, and you need to be reading the business stuff too because you need to know that this is an emotional freaking roller coaster. This isn't easy. This is hard. But life is hard. And you have the choice to take control of it or not. Um, so what I really like that she was saying is that just work on yourself. Really, really, really work on yourself. So many people think that it's just working out. It's just drinking the shake. It's just personal development. But like you need to decide the person you want to be and go be her right now. Not tomorrow or not. Well, when I get this together or when I start doing that or well, when this happens, no decide, commit and go for it. Okay. So like right now, after watching what the health I've totally decided I want to go vegan. So Taylor and Sam, I'm totally going to need your help because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I really just, after watching that, I'm like, there's ugh. there's no way I could like just ever eat an animal again or any kind of animal by box. Like just that documentary changed everything. So I was sitting here and I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to eat the rest of the food in my refrigerator before I start to do that. Or, well, I need to learn more about it before I start to do it. No, just decide and go for it. So sit down, study it, learn it, and make it happen. Okay, um, so the other thing that she was talking about was affirmations and visualizations. So Vanessa, I know you're really great at this. So affirmations, we talk about these sometimes. One of, an affirmation is not, I hope, I will, um, I want, I, or when I, it's, that's not an affirmation. An affirmation is I am, I have, I do, I attract, I am a magnet for, I, um, so speaking things like that. So waking up every day and saying, I am a diamond coach on August 19th, not I hope I am, or I want to be, or whatever. It's I am, I am, okay? It's not I would like to attract business-minded people. It's I attract business-minded and then fill in other characteristics of the type of person that you're looking for, okay? Um, and then the last thing that she was talking about was visualizations. So not just saying those things, but guys, like you literally need to like envision yourself doing this, okay? So sh you have to envision what does your team look like? Like who do, who do they look like? What color hair do they have? What kind of, what outfits do they wear? Where do they shop? What kind of coffee do they drink? Like, are they a Dunkin' Donuts person? Are they a Starbucks person? Or are they like a local coffee shop kind of person? Are they going out on Friday nights drinking and partying? Nothing wrong with that, okay? Or are they the person that is watching Netflix at home and baking cookies? What are they doing? Visualize your BFF and your future team, okay? Because it's crazy. When like you see people like... Um, Lindsay Matway, number two coach in the company, or number, I don't know what number she is right now. But when you see Lindsay Matway, literally her entire team is blonde. <laughs> like her entire team is blonde. They look like her. They literally all look like Barbie dolls walking down the street. And then when you see people like Haley Christian, I swear to God, her entire team had a rainbow of hair. None of them had blonde, black, red, or brown hair. It was all purple, blue, pink, green, whatever. So they all look like the same person. You, your vibe attracts your tribe. Know who you are, know who you want to be, visualize it every single day. Okay. Um, so you're going to have fears, you're going to have doubts, you're going to have excuses, and you're going to have curveballs that are thrown your way. And you have two choices to look at those curveballs. One, either this is a sign that I shouldn't do this and take the easy route out and quit. Or this is a sign that the universe knows I'm leveling up right now and they're testing me. How badly do I want this? Okay, you have the choice to keep pushing through or to not. Example, 
I have been really hard <laughs> trying to get Ben to diamond. And for the past five weeks, it's been one coach away, just one coach away. I sign a coach up and then one person goes inactive. I sign up another person to replace her and then she quits. And it's just like, huh, right? And I can keep looking at that like, oh, the universe just doesn't want me to be diamond or doesn't want Ben to be diamond. Or I can look at that like, God damn, the second I hit or I get Ben to diamond, it's going to feel so fucking good. Okay. It's a curveball. It's being thrown my way and I'm being tested <laughs> and it sucks. But the second I get there, it's going to be a fucking celebration. I'm taking three shots of tequila and I'm not even joking when I say that. So life gets hard, but you just have to ask yourself, like, you have to overcome what's being faced, what you're facing. Okay. It's not about being perfect, but it's about overcoming the obstacles in your way. People don't want you to be perfect because they can't relate to you if you are. All right. They need to know that shit happens in your life, that you're a normal person, that life isn't just handing you free passes, right? You're facing the same stuff that they are. You're just choosing to look at it as a challenge rather than a mountain that's standing in your way and stopping you. All right. So I know that sometimes when, sh when stuff gets hard and you feel like you're inviting, you feel like you're posting and nobody's checking in like the, my past five posts, I haven't gotten more than 10 people to like them. That's really weird for me. And I'm frustrated. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? But not focusing on that. I'm not going to focus on that because I know that sometimes when life gets hard, we're sitting there and it's like, how am I supposed to inspire somebody? Or how am I supposed to be motivating when I just want to go lay in a ball and cry? Right? And like, those are the times where make a post, make a post about it. Today, woke up and somebody that I wasn't expecting to quit, quit. And I had my five minute cry session. Amy called me, pep talked me through it, and I made a post about it. I let my mean girl get to me and it's like, why are you still doing this? This clearly isn't working. The universe doesn't want Ben to be diamond, just give up. But then I'm like, I've made it too far and look at all of you sitting here right now. Am I gonna quit just because one person? No. My life is so much bigger than one human being not seeing the bigger picture out of all of this. Okay. Um, so basically just to sum it up, she was talking about, I don't know if you guys are like baseball fans, but she used this analogy, believe like a Cubs fan. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, the Chicago Cubs, I think that's what they are. Yeah. Chicago Cubs, right? Nodding my head. Yeah. Is that what they are? Okay. We're all not baseball fans. So good. Don't hold me to this. They went like a hundred and eight years or something without with a losing streak, 108 years losing streak in baseball. It was the longest losing streak in all of sports history, not baseball, sports history. And so she played this video and I don't even, I mean, I do like baseball, but I'm a Pirates fan and we suck. So I don't really get excited that much anymore. I have like goosebumps. I was like crying watching this video that this girl had posted. Um, and the big, um, what was it? The Superdome. And it was basically showing all of these people at home cheering when the Cubs won the World Series. And it was, she used the hashtag, believe like a Cubs fan. And it just like literally gave me goosebumps from the court because it's like, you just have to believe in this. You have to believe that your why is going to happen because of this. You have to believe that it's so much more than a fucking workout program and a shake. You have to believe that. This is the vehicle to give you whatever you want in your life. And how cool is it that your health and fitness comes first and you're inspiring other people to do the same thing. Guys, they're going to go to the gym or they're going to go to Weight Watchers or they're going to join BBG and get a piece of paper that gives them five workouts to do, or they're going to go to YouTube and browse for 45 minutes to find a workout. And then at the end of the day, be like, oh, well, I don't have time to work out now because I just spent 45 minutes looking for a workout. You are the solution to them. And you have to believe that. Because if you don't, you're not going to show up to this. You're just not going to do it. You have, your belief has to be so strong that it literally drags your ass out of bed every day. Okay, so um, let me see what else we have going on here. Um, so one of the things I really loved was just never underestimate the power of the gift of coaching. Because <clears throat> think of this right now, guys. Like if if I hadn't found Amy, and I know my situation is a little, diff a little bit different because I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited by anybody. Nobody reached out to me about coaching or challenge group or anything like that. But if I hadn't found Amy, like 
I would seriously be so depressed. I would still be in an eating disorder. I would still be living paycheck to paycheck. I would still be working in a personal training studio where it was completely sexist. I was treated like crap. My pay was awful. I was working 4.30 a.m. till 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. I had no life. I was miserable. Ben and I fought all the time. I was just an angry, mad person. Like, just something as simple as this I can't imagine if I didn't find her. I have no idea where my life would be like right now. Okay? So just think about that. Like, where would you be right now, even if you're not making a lot of money right now? It doesn't matter. Think about the health and fitness side of this. Think about the fact that you have seven friends right here, right now, from all around the world, country that you never would have met if it weren't for coaching. Okay? You have to focus on what you've gained, focus on what you have right now, and keep moving forward. Because if you just keep thinking about what you don't have and what this hasn't given you yet, you're not going to show up. You're not going to show up. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay. So one of the biggest things then, so Melanie Mitchell, she always talks because she's the number one coach in the company now for three years. She's the only coach that's ever held that. It's actually from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is very, very cool. Um, she has an awesome transformation story. She hid coaching from her husband because he did not want her to do it. She hid it from him for four months. Um, Melanie Mitro. So regular Melanie and then M-I-T-R-O. Number one coach in the company because she has duplicatable systems, which we're going to talk about in a minute or later on. So Basically, she was talking about how, um, what was she saying? Um, so you have to know your outcome. What do you want out of this? It can't be, I want to have extra money. How much extra money do you have? What do you want to have the extra money for? When do you want to have the extra money by? What will, be, what will having that extra money mean to you? How will that change your life? You have got to dig deep. Because if it's just, I want extra money, well, go pick up extra shifts at your job right now. Go pick up a side job. It has to be more than that. Okay? I have a set dollar amount in my head right now. So when I write down my affirmations, and I know that this sounds crazy, but this is what my coach is earning, so why not? I say I earn, affirmation, I earn $5,000 a week by December 31st, 2017. I say that every single day. And not only do I say that, but then I visualize it. I literally imagine what it's going to look like. And it's going to literally just, I'm going to shit my pants when I see it, seeing $5,000 deposited onto my bank statement. Could you imagine like what that's going to look like? See it, see it. So you can feel what that would feel like. Um, so you need to know your outcome. What do you want out of this? Because then what you need to do is you need to take action immediately. And then this is something that you can talk to your challenge prospects and your coaching prospects. The more that they think about it, the more that they're going to overthink it. Their mean girl is going to pop into their head about why they can't do this, why they need to wait, why they need more money to get started, why they need more time, blah, 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 blah. And then what's going to happen is that they're just going to hold themselves back and never start. Okay? Sit down and take action immediately. Just like I said, I want to go vegan. I can sit here and say, well, I need to get rid of all the food in my house first. I need to learn everything that there is about veganism before I even start. No, get rid of the meat in my house and we'll start there, period. And make meals without meat, <laughs> you know, and learn it as I go. You don't need to know everything. That would literally be like you telling yourself that you need to know your major before you take a gen ed. That's not how this works. You take the gen eds and then you get into your major. That's how it works in college. The same thing with this. Just figure out what you want out of this and go for it. Figure it out along the way. Um, okay, so one of the things that she was saying was how to commit to a goal. Um, make a plan. I'm going to break these down. Make a plan. Set a date. Execute it. Self-discipline. Okay, so to make a plan. Right now, a lot of you are shooting for diamond. <laughs> a lot of you are shooting for diamond. 
Um, so how do you make a plan for that? Well, you need to sit down and figure out you need eight coaches on your team and two of those eight coaches need to become an Emerald coach. So ideally, one of those people out of your eight is going to be someone's account you can control. A spouse, your parents, family member of any sort, just someone who would let you literally use their social security number one time. Don't memorize it. Don't write it down. Just say, I'll never think about it ever again. Just let me use it one time so I can sign you up. Okay? Make a plan. So you know that you need eight people and two of them need to be emeralds. So break it down. How many invites should you be doing a day? How many follow-ups? How many people should you be adding on Facebook? How many people should you be following on Instagram? And how many conversations should you be starting a day? It's literally five tasks, guys. It's not hard. It's five tasks. Don't overcomplicate it. Okay? So the first thing that I do is I start conversations with the people that I started following on Instagram the day before and the people who accepted my friend request the day before. Hey girl, oh my God, just wanted to pop in super quick. Saw that you just went to Hershey Park. It's my jam. What's your favorite ride? I literally haven't been there in years. I feel like there's like a hundred new um, roller coasters. LOL. Let's talk soon. So simple. Start talking about Hershey Park because I love roller coasters. That is just a connection. Do the same thing on Instagram. Hey girl, oh my God, I love your meal prep photo from yesterday. I'm always open to new ideas. What was that second meal that you had? I couldn't really figure out what it was. Thanks so much in advance. And that part was from Sam, that thanks so much in advance part. So like thanking them as if like they've already responded to you. Okay, after that, then I follow new people. Then I add new people on Facebook. And then from there, just start inviting people. People that have liked your photos. People that are in your messenger app. But every day, guys, the number, the top two things you need to be doing every day if you want to advance your business, inviting and following up. If you're not doing that, people aren't joining you. You have to invite and you have to follow up. I don't care if you signed up yesterday or this morning or if you signed up seven months ago. You have to invite and follow up. It, inviting is not enough. Just like your doctor's office doesn't call you one time, they call you multiple times. Just like my student loans don't call me one time, they call me multiple times, okay? They follow up with me. I wish that they didn't, but they do. You want, these, you want to follow up with these people, okay? You want them to know that I didn't forget about you. You're not just a random person that I sent this invite to. I think, based off of your profile, your photos, how you talk, that not only would we be like super awesome best friends, but that you would really love what I have to offer and what I'm doing. And the coolest part is that you get to do, we get to do it together. You've got to invite and you've got to follow up every freaking day. Okay? And if it seems overwhelming at first, just start with five. Just start with five. Get super consistent, even if it takes you two weeks, and then do 10. Do it until you can do 10 every single day and you don't even think about it. And then do 15. And before you know it, you're doing like 20 to 30 in a matter of 15 to 20 minutes. Okay? It's better to do the same number every day and get consistent than it is to do 30 on one date and stress yourself out and then not do any the rest of the week and be like, I'm going to do 200 this weekend to catch up. Don't do that. Okay. Favorite quote ever by Zig Ziglar. He wrote a couple different books. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Not seven apples on Sunday. Okay. Inviting every day, not mass inviting and stressing yourself out. Um, okay, so then you need to set a date. So for most of you, I kind of said August 19th. I don't know if any of you are still pushing for that, but August 19th, it's not that far away. I mean, like, you still have like 30 days, okay? You can hit this. You have to affirm it. You have to visualize it. You got to believe it. And you got to do the daily tasks every single day. Set a date. There are coaches hitting diamond in two weeks that were being announced at Summit. Anybody can do this, guys. It's eight people. It's eight people. Don't, in your, in your head, don't even tell yourself it's hard. It's not hard. You got it. You already hit it, right? If you're affirming it, I hit diamond. You already did it. Now just fill in the names as they sign up with you. Best thing that I can say to you, how did I hit diamond? 
I did not give them the option to sign up as a customer. I didn't do that. There was only one option to sign up. I signed up every single person as a discount coach, every single one of them. And basically how I worded that was like, Hey girl, yeah, sometimes Beachbody can be a little tough with reordering. So the easiest way to do this is just to sign up as a preferred customer from the start. You won't have to fill out any paperwork at the end of the month. You won't have to pay any extra money. You get the sign up fee waived, no extra charges. You're already going to be set up to receive 25% off moving forward. And you just pay a small fee to get a discount on our products. It's the best way to go about it. All of my girls do it this way. And I wasn't lying. Literally every single person did it that way because I didn't give them the option to do it another way. Do it like that. Do it like that. Because they're more likely, they're going to fall in love with Shakeology. They always do. They always do. And the only reason they won't is if at the end of the month they have to fill out a form, pay $40, and then wait to get a reimbursement. All of that is like, eh, I don't want to do it. Nah, I just, that just sounds like a lot, of, a lot of stuff I have to do extra, blah. Make them sign up as a discount coach from the beginning. Save you and them time and money. Okay? So you have a date. Now execute it. Execute it. So if you know, so say if you are right now inviting 10 people a day, every day, every day, not 10 people two days a week and no one the rest of the week. If you're inviting 10 people a day and no one's signing up, First off, reach out to me because that doesn't make any sense um, so that we can go through your conversations. And then the second thing is you need to ask yourself, how many people on average does it take me to invite before somebody joins me or before somebody responds? So I can tell you that out of five messages, I typically get one person to respond. Okay. It doesn't mean that one out of five people order, but one out of five of my messages, they respond and they're like, yeah, I'm interested. Or sure, you can tell me more about it. Okay. One out of eight to 10 order through me. So that means I need to invite 50 people. I need to invite 50 people in order to get one to two to sign up. Okay. I know that might seem like a lot, but if you invite 10 people a day, that's Monday through Friday, two people sign up. There's four success club points. There's a hundred dollars hopefully one out of those or both of those people will become a discount coach. Do you kind of see the number thing there? Okay. So if I said that I have about one to five, one out of five people respond one to two out of 10 typically order through me. So if I want to help eight people get signed up, I need to be talking to about 50 people so that I have like eight people then signed up. What you want to do from there, guys, is don't make Emerald seem hard. What I'm doing for most of my new coaches is telling them, you got to be Emerald in 48 hours. It's two people. Sign up your mom, sign up your boyfriend, sign up your dad, sign up your cousin, sign up your sister, sign up your brother. I don't care who you sign up. Call your best friend and sign her up. I called my best friend and I called Ben. And then I told my best friend, I was like, oh, you're broke. You don't have to do this anymore. I'll sign up my mom. Okay. I didn't give them the option. I was like, I'm running this business. I'm going to do this. You care about me, support me, help me. That's all you got to do. If you believe it, they believe you. And the best way to do that is don't do this. Don't do this. No one cares. No one cares about this. Do this. I paid for them. I did not for my mom, but for Ben, I did because Ben doesn't work out which we're getting to. We'll talk about that later. Um, okay. So, um, I'm just going to finish off a little bit of motivation and whatnot. And then I'm going to talk about what we're going to be doing with fit and lean and onboarding new coaches. So Brendan Burchard spoke, I'm going to type his name real quick. So you guys can find him on, uh, YouTube. He does a lot of the TED Talks. He has his own, like Brendan. You can just Google him. Um, he's a motivational speaker. He's amazing. He's literally worked with like Oprah, Usher. Um, it was funny. He posted a photo with Bill Clinton. And then he was like, and then if you guys are like super political, and he posted one with George Bush. He's like, I don't take sides. Um, so he's like worked with so many people, so many awesome people. And it's all about mindset. 
So the one thing that he was saying is that when life gets hard, so many of us just run back to our comfort zone. So many of us do it. My comfort zone, since I was kind of open to all of you about this a couple weeks ago, is when life gets hard, what do I typically do? Is I hang out in my bedroom, I get high, and I, and I pass out, okay? And, and, that's, and I don't wanna do that anymore. Now, I'm like kind of like a hippy-dippy, whatever, like my parents grew up, like my parents used to grow weed, whatever, so like it's just a different lifestyle. My parents are deadheads and hippies. So I know that that's not everyone's jam, but I'm just not somebody that wants to get prescribed to anything, and that's my anxiety relief. But that's my comfort zone, and I don't wanna do that anymore. When life gets hard, what do I wanna do is, I wanna get harder. I wanna stand up and just be like, you know what, this sucks, but, this right here is not what I want either. So I'm going to push through and do something that I don't normally do. So today, after a coach quit that I wasn't expecting to quit, I so badly just wanted to crawl into bed and just lay the day away. And I had a million excuses. Oh, I traveled for 14 hours yesterday or um, whatever. It'll happen eventually. So what's one day if I take off? Well, the fact that I took off the entire month is pretty much why I can't take off today. And that's not going to do anything for me. It's not going to make me feel better. It's not going to make me feel better. It's going to make me feel more regretful. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up and be like, why didn't I just get up and do it anyway? So don't in the moment do what you typically would do. Think about you two seconds from now or tomorrow and think what would me tomorrow wish I had done. And I know that Emily on Tuesday is gonna look back and be like, bitch, why did you not get up and do something? Because if I had just gone into my room and just gotten high, I would have canceled this call because my eyes would have been bloodshot and I literally wouldn't have been able to talk to any of you. That's exactly what would have happened. And that's not helping you, that's not helping me. And you gotta level up, you gotta level up. You have, like I just said earlier, decide who you wanna be and be her now. I want to be like this vegan hippie girl that knows like, I even asked Sam about crystals. Like I want to learn all of it. I just think it's so awesome and just like so cool. And I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about that stuff. And it's so easy to just be like, oh, well, I don't know anything about it. So I just won't do it. No, learn about whatever it is that you want to learn about. So I'm going to talk about that in a second when we get to groups. Um, so... Okay, this is one of the things I really, really, really loved. Um, is these are some words that you as guys can start using in your posts other than the word ambition. Because sometimes people like just aren't really inspired by the word ambition. Is hunger. Like when you make a post, like are you hungry for this life that you see other people living on Instagram? Are you hungry for your dreams? Um, your desires? dreams and passion. Um, Brendan kind of finished off by just saying, fuck the doubters because they're always going to be there. And the more successful that you get, there's going to be more of them. Okay. Just think about the fact that I think Beyonce is like the best thing that's ever happened to this planet. Like I would just, I, I, I would literally pay a million dollars for a tissue that Beyonce used. Like that is how much I'm literally obsessed with her. Okay. So I know there's a lot of people that don't like Beyonce which just blows my effing mind, but whatever. There's people that don't like Beyonce. But do you think that she's sitting around thinking about them? No, no. In the end of her new song, Formation, she's like, um, what does she say? Uh, best revenge is your paper. She's like, who cares? Like, who cares what they're, what they're doing? Anyone can do this. Anyone can talk. Not a lot of people can actually take action. Okay. And even if you got to just walk around with middle fingers up, do it. Who cares? Because your tribe is going to be attracted to you. Okay. Um, all right. So one of the things that this is actually really, these are two awesome coaches, um, two people that you can follow. One is Christina Delgado. She was a lawyer. She had her own law firm and secretly had filed bankruptcy twice. Now she was earning over $100,000 a year, but where she was living in Miami, all of her debt, things like that, they had to file bankruptcy. But all of her friends thought that she was kicking ass because she was a lawyer, right? She had that title, she had the title. And so she was playing into it, playing into it, racking up credit card debt, whatever. 
So Christina Delgado was one, and then Elizabeth Hartke. You guys would really like her. She's super cute. I'm gonna type her name in here. She has a lot of awesome transformation photo or transformation videos from workout programs on YouTube. So if you ever wanna share with somebody like 22 minute hardcore, show them Elizabeth Hartke's. Okay, so they were talking about how, how to connect with your challengers. Okay, this was really, really cool. How to connect with your challengers. So you wanna be like a client magnet, right? Because the best way to get coaches is to get challengers. It's to share with people health and fitness. Help them fall in love with the product so they just naturally wanna get a discount. Something we're gonna start doing is, um, I'm gonna have Ashley share about this a little bit later, is our discount coach letter that we're gonna start sending out. It's gonna be one page, super simple but I want to add them to our team page. We can, in the letter it will say, you can turn notifications off, you can leave the group if you want, but I want you to feel a part of something bigger than just the fitness group, okay? Because you are now a coach. Even if you never wanna work the business, if you have a friend that reaches out to you, we can at least share with you how they can order through you rather than through us. And right there, they have one friend interested, they're gonna be interested in coaching. Okay, so basically, obviously, it starts with being proof of the product every single day. So guys, you need to be showing that you're drinking Shakeology. You need to be showing that you're doing the workout. Someone who's really awesome at this is Taylor. Taylor's literally every day posting a workout video. If you guys follow her on Instagram every day in her stories, she has her freaking calendar in your face showing you. Every single day, she's showing you what day she's on and what workout she's doing. So if I'm somebody that follows her every day, I can see, okay, Taylor's on day 13. Taylor's, Taylor's on day 14. And then if I click on the link in her bio, I can go to her Facebook and see her workouts. Okay, she's being proof of the product. She's living, eating, sleeping, and breathing her workout every day. All right? So how do you gain trust is emphasize the similarities between you and the person you're talking to. Okay? So if you see something that they're posting on their page, Mention that to them. Like, hey girl, oh my God, I saw that like you went to Pitt. Like, so did I. Um, you know, where did you live or did you ever go to the Peterson Event Center and go to the gym there? Like, oh my God, I miss that gym so much, blah, blah, blah. They might say something like, oh yeah, oh, I've been just going to Planet Fitness because it's cheap, but I don't really like it. I'm not really using it. Oh girl, that's so crazy. Like, I've actually been working out at home lately and I've been loving it. I've never been so consistent. Right there, I found a similarity between us emphasize those rather than your differences and you lead the conversation you got it that way first okay um this is something that you guys should definitely do is create a coach avatar okay so what that is is go on instagram or facebook or pinterest or google and literally find an image of your ideal coach what does she look like? What is she wearing? What is her style? Um, how old is she? Where does she shop? Does she get her nails done? My ideal coach does not. My ideal coach probably doesn't even shower three times a week, um, which I'm working on. Um, and I did shower today, actually. Um, so having a coach avatar so that when you're sitting down and you're looking at people, like when I look at people, it's not that I'm looking like, are you pretty or not pretty? Are you whatever looking or not looking? It's just, are you, do I get a vibe from you that we, that we would hang out? So like if I see somebody that has like, and there's nothing personal offensive against this, but if I see somebody that has like a ton of piercings on their face, eh, that's probably not my ideal person, okay? Or if I see somebody that has dreadlocks, I know I don't shower, but I'm not quite at that level. Okay, there's nothing against them, but there's another coach out there that's their tribe. That's just not my tribe. There's nothing, it's, it's nothing personal, okay? You just need to know who it is that you are looking for. Because the problem is if you're just trying to get people, you're not gonna get anybody. You need to be laser focused on what your team looks like. Um, so the four questions that they asked were, know your clients, pain points. My clients' pain points, they don't know how to meal plan because before coaching, I had no idea how to meal plan. I was just a personal trainer. I only made workout programs. 
Other pain point was they, they had struggle with an eating disorder or they struggle with depression or anxiety. Um, being in a gym, like I would get so anxious going, walking into a gym. And I was a personal trainer. Like I kind of knew what I was doing. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking that they're looking at me because I'm too tiny or they're looking at me because I'm a girl or they're looking at me because I'm squatting and I don't have a butt. Like literally all of these thoughts are going through my head, right? Like those are pain points. What are your client's pain points? Why do you need to know these? So that you make posts about them. Make a post about them. So then the people that are your tribe relate to that. They like it. And you doing your daily behaviors are sending a thank you message. Hey girl, thanks so much for the love on that post last night. Really, really nervous posting stuff like that because it's super vulnerable, but all the support, ugh, I can't tell you how much it meant to me. You rock. Something as simple as that. Number two is, are you attractive? Okay, not like physically attractive, but like, is your, is your energy attracting the right people? Okay, you can make a post about how you have major road rage. I've made posts about that before. But then I'm always like, but then I just turn on some gangster rap and I just like blare it out instead of cussing them out. I just like break it down a little way or Kevin Gates or something like that. Okay. So putting a positive spin on stuff so that people are attracted to you. More than that, are your posts actually pretty looking? Okay. So like if you were to scroll through my Instagram right now, I have a very, my theme is the same. It's kind of like bronzish, brownish tone. Okay. So make sure that your photos on Instagram all look the same. Facebook's a little different because it's not all next to each other. So it doesn't really matter exactly what it looks like, but like you don't want photos like, actually let me, show, I can easily show you a photo of mine that was not nice looking. So give me two seconds to do that. Um, so like you guys know what I mean. Like you, you've scrolled through Instagram before and you see photos they are kind of like dark. Um, they're just not very pretty looking. Um, you don't want that stuff. People, especially on Instagram, you have like half a second to get their attention. So it, it needs to be clean. So like, this is one of the posts I got the most interaction. I got 189 likes on this. It was just clean, which is a clean, bright photo. You would scroll through and you would stop and one of a million things. You either liked my leggings, you liked the green grass, um, you liked the peace sign. Like there was one specific thing that popped up. They probably didn't read the 45 minute novel that I wrote below, but they liked the photo. That's all you need. You just need them to like it. Cause then you can reach out to them and be like, Hey, thanks so much for like my coaching posts. You're like, what, what are you talking about? And then you just keep going with it. It's all you got to do. Number three was you have to stop with your image, you want them to, you want to stop, how do I want to read this? Um, you want to stop your audience with your photo, but you want to connect with them with your post. So that is why your image needs to be clean. It needs to be pretty. It doesn't have to be like a bright white photo. It just needs to all be the same theme, especially on Instagram. But then you want to connect with them in your message. So whether you read something in your personal development, you, if you guys saw my post from this morning, I started reading Get Your Shift Together because we're running the group with Shift Shop. So that's why I'm reading that book right now. Um, it's called Get Your Shift Together if you guys are interested in it. And it's basically instead of using the word change because some people are afraid of the word change, uses the word shift. So instead of change your life, just shift your mindset. Okay? Um, so you want to stop them with your image but connect with your post. So... Who are you? Know your story. Know your pain points. Know where you're going. What is your outcome with coaching? Post about that stuff. Okay, so that you're getting people with either what they're going through now or you're getting people with what you want to make of your life. And they're like, oh my God, like that's my dream too. Like I want to travel the world or I want to be a stay-at-home mom with six dogs or I want to own a bakery, whatever it might be but you will never connect with those people if you don't share it. The last one was, um, I'm trying to think how they word this, like external versus internal. Okay, so they were talking about, I don't know if you guys, you guys should really read this book. It's an awesome book. It's called Start With Why 
I'll put that here. And then this is all in the chat message, if you guys can see that below. Start with why talks a lot about Microsoft versus Apple. No offense to any of you that have any Microsoft things right now, okay? But basically what they were talking about is how Microsoft, when you see a commercial with Microsoft, they're talking about how many gigabytes it has, how much the hard drive holds, um, the ROM or whatever any of that stuff is, the battery life, things like that. But with Apple, it's showing you with your friends. It's showing images around the world. It's showing your family and your photos, okay? That is awesome. That's a why. You don't buy Apple for the, for the product. You buy it because you believe in their mission. You, there's something about holding that phone that makes you feel like you're a part of something bigger, right? Like people with Apple products, they, they connect, they're all together, they all relate, they're all like a family or community. But with Microsoft, it's very different. Okay, so for example, when um, on a laptop, on an Apple laptop, when I have my computer folded closed, the Apple is upside down. But when I open it, it's right side up to the people behind me. However, with Microsoft, it's upside down to people around them. It's very disconnected. It's not about community. Whereas with Apple, it is. They have a why. They don't need to shout out the battery life and how much storage the computer has. They get you by showing that your family has these photos. You can connect with everybody, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so basically what that means is that with Apple, it's like I've walked in your shoes before. I know where you're coming from. I feel your struggle. I felt it too. But I found that when I took a chance on myself and just believed in what I'm doing, anything was possible. Feel, felt, found. Whenever I get an objection, I'm like, girl, I feel you. I feel you. I am a broke college graduate as well. Kudos to you on graduating. That's awesome. I felt exactly the same way when I first heard about this, that I didn't have the money, that I didn't know how I was going to make this work. But I'm here to tell you that I found when I just took that chance because I knew I was going to spend that 160 on something in the next two months, this has been the best 160 I've ever invested into myself. I hope that you under, I hope that you feel this way too. Feel felt found. I feel you. I felt the same way, but I found that when I took a chance, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So last thing I'm going to talk about is, um, what we are doing with new coach training. So whether you are a coach that just signed up two weeks ago, or you're a coach that signed up nine months ago. I really, really, really would love for you to do coach training again, because if you are not an emerald or a diamond coach, you should be doing this training, not only just for yourself, but then to say to your new coaches, I did it. You can relate to them. Okay. Give me two seconds to plug my computer and before it does. Okay, Ash, I'm gonna finish this up in five minutes and then have you take over. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna attach this to our, tra um, our team page so you guys can see this. So when you sign up a new coach, you know exactly what to do for them. The whole idea here is I'm trying to make everything so duplicatable, okay? Everything in the past just like, I don't know, I just feel like it's confusing and I just wanna make everything so super simple. So when you have a new coach sign up, they're like, oh, I know exactly what to do. Even if they're not ready to do it that day, when they are, they know where to go, how to get started, and where and what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen real quick to show you guys this. Okay, so uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so the first thing is you have to make sure that they're like actually ready to build this business. Don't rush them into it. Because remember, you would rather them sign up three months down the road and crush it then sign up prematurely because you convinced them to, and believe me, I've been there too, and then them quit a week later. So the first thing is you're going to send them a coach welcome letter, okay? The coach welcome letter is very, very, very simple. 
all it's basically saying in there is like, welcome to our team. Um, a little bit of like mindset, motivation stuff, basically saying that this is their business. You know what? I'm just going to show it to you. It is here in our new coach training. I'm going to be working on all this stuff throughout the day. Um, okay, so team lists new coach training. If you're not in it, add yourself. In the files tab, I just signed up. Now what? Okay, files tab of new coach training. I just signed up. Now what? Okay, this is the new coach welcome letter. It literally says list new coach email. What you're going to do is you would send this to your new coach. What you want to do is file, download as so you have your own, or make a copy. Either one will give you this of your own because you don't want to give them my phone number. Right here, you want to enter your phone number, not mine. Okay? Scrolling on down through here, it basically just says you will find a new coach checklist and some about you questions listed below. Okay? So, all they're going to do is answer these about you questions, like what's the best way to go hold of you, family support system, blah, 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 and whatnot. Then it's going to take them to the coach checklist, which you'll see in a second. Okay, so they send the new coach welcome letter. They text you, so you guys have each other's phone numbers. It seems a little bit more personal. You are going to add them to our team page, and then you're going to add them to fit and lean, which I'm going to share what we're gonna do with it later on because literally nobody's participating, so the whole theme thing I think is okay, but we all need to be participating. We all need to be participating in fit and lean, okay? This is Microsoft Word, but instead of doing, it's called the notebook layout. Instead of blank template, it's called notebook layout. Pretty cool. So then you can have like all these little tabs and stuff too. Okay, so you're gonna add them to our team page and then you're gonna add them to the, um, what is it, Fit and Lean, until you have a 30 day challenge starting. I highly recommend that you don't run Facebook groups, guys. It's just a lot of work. Um, the problem with Facebook groups too is that what, you keep adding people to Facebook groups and then you can't ever close a group. Like you can't delete a group. You can just leave it. So it's just like you can have all these people just like floating around these groups and just overwhelming. Whereas with the app, as soon as the challenge is ended, like say you run it for 30 days or you run it for 60 days, as soon as it's done, they're automatically removed from the, that app, like that app group. So less confusing. Okay, so you want to add them to Fit and Lean just because one of us is going to be posting there every day. They have something, they have some place that they can at least share their workout, have some motivation, and check in that they drink their shake. Okay, in our team page, the new coach is going to share an image, their own selfie, and a blurb about them, not you. The reason being is just it gets them to post, it gets them to tell us about themselves, okay, rather than you just writing this short, impersonal thing, okay? Have them share. Sierra did one, which was awesome. Ray did one, she's not on the call right now, but she did one, which was great too. Alexis did one recently. Um, so you guys can kind of scroll back and see how that was done. They text you within 24 hours of receiving their welcome letter to set up their getting started right call. That's a GSR, getting started right call. Now, if this is the first coach that you sign up, if this is the fifth coach that you sign up, we will do this getting started right call together with your new coach, okay? It's not just you doing this alone. So it's I do, you watch, we do, you do, I watch. That makes sense. On that getting started right call, it's gonna be about 30 minutes. First thing we're gonna do is talk about the first 30 in the Coach Online office. This is something that Brittany Leggett and Raina Odell talked about on Saturday when I was there for onboarding new coaches. 
this is where you can find it. I posted this, or no, I didn't. I shared this with a few of you yesterday in Messenger. Um, for those of you that didn't see it, I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. So, whether you're a coach or you've been a coach for nine months, I highly recommend that you go and do this. And again, here's all the new stuff that just came out. Sunshine, that's what I forgot to talk about. Give me two seconds to show you guys this. Um, oh, and you can see my success club points. You can see that not awesome every single month. Give me a second. So you're logged into your coach online office. You saw this, Team Beachbody. Sign in. Oh, got to register for Team Cup. Okay, under news and training, the top right, you can click on training. Down here in training library, oh guys, you can do this at all. Like, just look at all this stuff. If you've never seen this, why, why? You should know where this stuff is, okay? So there's all this awesome stuff as far as whatever training, whatever. I want you to go to training library. Uh, give me two seconds to find it. First 30. First 30 is an onboarding program that begins when a new coach enrolls with Team Beachbody. Okay? So it talks about their first 30 minutes, their first 30 hours, and their first 30 days. Okay? There's a new coach welcome video. There's the quick start guide an action plan, the leader guide, quick reference, and then Shakeology. This is what we're gonna talk about on their Getting Started Right call, the first 30. Okay, we're also gonna talk about first month goals, hitting success club, helping three people, hitting emerald rank, it's two people, spouse, parent, whatever, and then vital behaviors, being proof of the product, inviting, posting, personal development, plugging in, so national wake-up call, our team calls, and then our larger team boom call. Their why, so important, and then training, okay? So it's gonna be the first Monday or the third Monday of the month, which I'll get to, okay? That's what we're gonna talk about on that first call. Again, I'm going to post this in the team page, so don't worry. Then they're gonna go back to the checklist and, that's not it, new coach checklist. Pretty much reiterating everything else. Start your workout and meal plan. We just talked about proof of the product on the getting started right call. How to get and stay active. Um, what else on here? Shakeology, that was in the first 30. Okay, finding answers also in the first 30. Contacting coach relations in the first 30. So a lot of this is going to parallel and overlap, all right? So this is pretty much just like banging this into their head, okay? Um, what else? How to be a successful coach, so how we earn. Success club, success starters, earning your free ticket to summit. Again, this is all in the first 30. Emerald Coach, explaining how it looks, what it looks like, what are the perks, blah, blah, blah. How to enroll a new coach. Um, announcing they're a coach. And then this is what I'm really excited about. We're going to go through this and change this up because I don't like how it's listed right now. But they're going to pick a gem. Okay? Each gem has different characteristics listed underneath it. I reached out to Ashley, and then Ashley didn't tell you this, but I also reached out to Sam, and Sam, Ashley, and I each are taking a gem. We are going to be making training videos based on these personalities, okay, so that everybody knows how to invite, no matter whether you're a shy, introverted person, or you are super outgoing and straightforward and blunt, okay? Everyone will know how to invite, what an invite is, how to follow up, what a follow up is, what a challenge group is, how to talk about coaching, all of that kind of stuff. Okay? Once you've completed training, text your sponsor coach, or once you've completed this checklist, text your sponsor coach, I'm finished, and I am a blah, 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 whatever gem they are emerald, ruby, sapphire, or pearl. I know I'm kind of going fast, but that's why we're recording this. Okay, so after checklist, text you with gem. 
Now, we are going to then send them the gem training, which is going to be seven different videos. These are the seven days we're going to be talking about. Vital behaviors, they're coming outpost as a coach, and then business hours. So they can start working right away, getting a planner, writing down all that they have to do on a daily basis, and then filling in coaching in the pockets. Then we're going to talk about social media, sharing your story, posting to your tribe, having a theme, having hashtags, okay? Challenge group invites and challenge group follow-ups, coaching invites and coaching follow-ups. So like the stuff that we do every single day. Okay, then the dream team list. So having that list of 50 people that they can reach out to right from the get-go. People like that they've worked with, friends from high school, friends from college, family, extended family, ex, whatever, I don't even know, college friends, high school friends, their hairdresser, their doctor, the girl that works at Applebee's down the street. It doesn't matter. Anybody they can reach out to and just ask them for their support slash to be their workout buddy. Be their workout buddy. And then we're also gonna talk about tracking because it's important that they're tracking from the beginning so that they know who they're talking to. Then we're gonna talk about psychology, why it's important to have a transformation, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional. And then the last day will be how to goal set, how to say, I wanna hit diamond rank on this day. How are you gonna plan for that? And then what kind of mindset and personal development do you need to hit that goal? Okay, so for each gem, each gem is going to have seven days of training. Okay, so that an emerald coach has all of these things based on that kind of personality. A ruby coach has all of these based on their personality. All right, and it's going to run from the first and third Monday of every single month. Super duper simple. I know that this might seem a little overwhelming, but I'm going to put all of you into the training so you can follow this and you can do this so that you know exactly how this is going to work so that when you sign a coach up, they know what they're doing. I am going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to have anybody unmute your... Actually, let me see if I can do that. Okay, I just unmuted all of you. If anyone has questions, please ask. None of you have questions. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just asked a question so that I know at least you've been paying attention to anything I've been saying. Well, some of the stuff, oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. I was just going to say some of the, the stuff that you went over, are you going to go over like in the training too? Yeah. Like, cause I know you're going to be doing like everything breakdown, but like the first day you're going to kind of go over everything again. Yes. So what we're going to do is what I mean by like the first and third Monday is that once the videos are made, the videos are always going to be the same. Okay. okay. So like once the, in the challenge group invite and challenge group follow-up video has been made, it's done. But what I mean by we're going to run it the first and third Monday of the month is that that day that we post, the video, we're actually going to go live and explain that day. Okay. The live video is only going to be like one to two minutes. It's not going to be anything long. We just basically to explain that day and what you're going to be doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, does anybody else have a question? Uh, Vanessa. Oh, it's not a question. It's more like a comment. Um, I'm so glad that you and, and Ashley went over to Summit because it literally changed. It got, got me more motivated and it was more of a, I guess, a manifestation that I saw within you guys. And I'm like, I'm going to be there next year. Yeah. So it's got me more excited. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Honestly, it was like um, when I went to Nashville last year, it literally, it changed everything. Um, and it was really cool because when I went to Nashville now, the one thing I can say to you is don't do what I did. Don't be the same rank that you are right now at Summit next year. 
I was, I at least advanced in rank for like 48 hours, which was exciting, but that was it and I lost it. Um, but what you are right now, don't be this rank next year, okay? Literally all of you right now, if you're not like a 10 star diamond next year, you will be. I mean, at least a 10 star diamond, okay? You can all be 15 star diamonds in a year. 15 star diamond, the, the bonus for that, remember the bonus is every four months, or I'm sorry, every three months, it's every quarter. For 15 star diamond, just the bonus. Are you ready for this? Was $77,000. The bonus. That would literally pay off my entire student loan debt. And my credit card. And I would still have like 15,000 left over. <laughs> like, ah, I couldn't even, I mean, I, I can imagine. It sounds insane and crazy. But the coolest part is once you get to meet these coaches, how much they donate, how much they give away to charities, guys. It's so cool. Like you want to hate them, but then you hear about them and like what they're doing. You're like, oh, and you're fucking nice too. Like, come on. Um, but yeah, so yes, all please, please, please be at Summit next year because I want us to all like have t-shirts and take a few pictures or whatever. Um, so I'm going to leave this at this. I'm going to make a video throughout the week. I'm going to be going live, talking more about the new coach training system. We're going to officially kick this off all, the first Monday in August. So I highly encourage all of you to, I'm going to participate in it. So I hope that you guys participate in it too. Um, we're going to do that August, the first Monday in August. Ashley, Sam, and I are going to come up with the videos in the meantime for that. Um, and last thing I want to talk about before I switch this over to Ashley is, I know this has gone way too long. I really apologize for this. Is um, Okay, if you guys saw that I went live today, talking about I want you guys to come to Wilmington, I was talking to Ben about this, and I was like, you know what? Most of them live in a really cold state, except for Vanessa. We know that you live in California. Let's brag about it. Um, <laughs> so... I would love for you all to come to Wilmington, okay? I will pay for the Airbnb. I'll pay for us to all go grocery shopping. The only thing you guys would be responsible for paying, I mean, if you guys want to go shopping because there's like really cute boutiques and stuff down here, it's not an expensive town. It's not expensive. I promise you that. Um, but you would just be responsible for paying for transportation to get here. And then one night we'll all go out to town. So you can just be responsible for paying for that. But I'll take us all to the shopping and get like snacks and food. And I will pay for the entire Airbnb for us to stay. Okay? But the um, requirement is by, I think it's at the end of, October, uh, the end of September. I'm going to make it until Halloween because I really love you all. But this does not mean wait until October 1st to start doing this. You have to be diamond right. Okay, you have to be diamond rank. So you have to hold diamond for six weeks. So what would I encourage you to do right now? Make a freaking post about this so that you put it out into the universe and people can start to see that you're working towards something. You're traveling, you're hanging out with these people. They're not just weirdos on social media that you don't know. Okay, it was like so cool to like hug Ashley. Yes, she is as tiny as she looks in photos, but she's a real person. And it was so cool. Like the first time I met Sam, it was like, oh my God, like you're, you're real. <laughs> I can like touch you, not in a creepy way, but like it's just friend and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, I'm done talking, but please work toward that goal. I would really love for you all to be here. Um, I want to like go and take pictures on the beach and like have a cover photo that's like Team Light Your Sun. It's going to be really cool and epic. Um, I'm going to mute all of you again and pass it off to Ashley. Hey guys. Okay, so Emily asked me if I would just share some of my takeaways from Summit. So I just kind of made a list of some of the things that really stood out to me. Um, I took a lot of notes in my phone. Emily already covered some of them, so I'll just skip those if Emily already talked about them. But um, so like everything changed for me by going to summit um i believed in it before but not really so um yeah everything changed i mean being around that many people seeing that this actually works for so many people seeing these top coaches talk doing live workouts like it was horrible and wonderful at the same time working out at 6 a.m i got to work out with autumn calabrese at 6 a.m 
with thousands of other people. It was so hard, but it was so fun. And then we got to do a super workout in the streets of New Orleans. They like shut down one of the major streets, like right in front of the Superdome. Thousands of people, like 20,000 people working out with all of the celebrity trainers. Chris Downing, Sean T, Tony Horton, Autumn Calabrese, Joel and Jericho, like everybody. I actually cried when Joel and Jericho were on stage. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with Court of Force. Like, how is this really happening to me? It was awesome. So just like my belief in this business grew like times one million just by being at Summit. And like I've been doing pretty well up until this point, but like I don't even know how. <laughs> like, like how is this even happening to me? I don't even deserve it. Like I honestly haven't been putting in the work that I need to be to to really deserve the amount of commission I've been making and the success club points I've been getting. Like everything is changing now. Um, so just by listening to all of these top coaches talk really my biggest takeaway was that they are no different than me. Like they are completely normal people. They're just consistent. And if this worked for them, then it can work for me. And if it worked for them, it can work for you. Um, you just have to be consistent and just make it happen. Um, so yeah, that was like my biggest takeaway. I've, I also, another takeaway is like, you have to make people take notice of you. Like, Nobody's going to notice you if you don't ever do anything. Um, one of the coolest things was being at the Team Boom party and people and Emily introducing people to me and then be like, oh my gosh, you're Ashley Dyer. Like, I totally know who you are. Or I, I, I recognize your name because you're, cause you're hitting Success Club. Like, you guys have to hit Success Club. Put, get your name on the board so people know who you are and take notice of you. Like, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, how could you possibly know who I am? Just like this so insignificant. Like, how could you possibly know who I am? I know who you are because you're awesome. And you've been a coach for a long time. Like it was so cool. It made me feel really special for people to be like, Oh my gosh, you're Ashley Dyer. Like I follow you. You just were at Disney world. You're like my spirit animal. I like love Disney too. I'm like, how is this real? Like, I'm just, I'm so normal. They're normal. You're normal. Like make people take notice of you. Um, another takeaway is like, you have to have transformation. So like I have had like a pretty significant physical transformation, but even if your transformation is mental, emotional, even if it's just something that you're changing about your routine. So something Emily and I talked about this, this past weekend was I'm going to completely change my morning routine and Emily's going to help me and she's going to hold me accountable to it. But that's going to be something I can post about. Like it's going to happen. And right now, last school year, I would get up at the last second possible. I would take a really fast shower. I would leave my house with my hair wet, would skip breakfast, would sometimes do my makeup in the car. I know that's so dangerous. Don't judge me. Um, just like super rushed and always starting my day off on the wrong foot. I'm going to start getting up at 445. Emily's crazy. She's like, talk to me into this, but I can do it. And I'm going to have an incredibly productive morning before I go to school. And that can be you. Like if maybe you're like naturally slim, like maybe you don't have all this extra weight that you need to get off and you're not going to have a huge physical transformation. I mean, even me, like I'm really small. I'm like five foot zero and I've never been like extremely overweight, but I put on like 20 pounds after my wedding and 20 pounds on someone that's five foot zero is a lot. So for me to be able to lose 20 or 25 pounds in the last five, six months, like that's pretty significant and you can see a huge change in my body. Even if you don't have extra weight to lose, post about your mindset change, post about changing routines in your daily life. Like I've been posting about the change in my morning routine because it's going to happen. Um, Emily already talked about affirmations and visualizing and goal setting. That was another thing that I took away from Summit. Um, I haven't really done affirmations before, even though I've been told to do it. Um, you know, it probably will feel weird at first, but you just have to do it. You have to tell yourself that these things are true about you. You have to build yourself up. Um, and you have to actually visualize these things happening to you. I remember when I did gymnastics in high school, my coach would tell me to like visualize myself doing these things, visualize yourself doing a back handspring on the balance beam. Just think about it. 
like see yourself doing that in your head all the time. And then it's, it's almost like you, well, it's true. Like there's research on it. You build like muscle memory by just thinking about things. Even if you're not actually doing a back handspring on the beam, like a hundred times, you think about it a hundred times. It's like your body knows how to do it. It's less scary. You just, you can do it more easily. Um, I've also decided that this is going to be my four, my last year of teaching. Um, I hate teaching. It's soul sucking. It's so hard. It's exhausting. I have to put in like 60 hours a week and I don't even get paid for it. I get summers off, but that doesn't even really make up for all of the overtime I put in during the year that I don't get paid for. Um, I got to go to a special lunch with uh, Pat Railman, creator of Team Boom, and a bunch of other people who have been hitting high success club numbers. There were seven- just to throw off their names real quick, guys. It was Pat Real, yeah, Pat Realman, um, Peter and Beth Realman. That's eight, my coach's parents were there. Amy was there. You, I know you've seen Ashley Feldison's name up there. She literally hit success club thirty or forty every single month. Caroline Nathan was there. She's was the number 14 coach in the company last year. Um, it was really cool. So yeah, just to interrupt you real quick. Keep going. Yeah, so just at this lunch, there were seven other teachers there. Seven other people that had an elementary education degree. They had retired from teaching or they were going to quit. There was like one person who was like, oh, I love being a teacher. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, there was one person that was like, I actually love being a teacher. I was like, okay, good for you. She teaches high school. It's totally different. I would never want to teach high school, but yeah, I'm going to have a different perspective. I feel like elementary is way harder. Um, but all of these people were like speaking my life. They were like, I was working my life away. I was getting paid next to nothing. I'm so underappreciated and people don't appreciate teachers. Everything is just expected of us. We have to drop thousands of dollars on our classroom each year. It's like, who cares? Like, what other career do you have to work nights and weekends and not get paid for it, drop thousands of dollars on classroom decorations, supplies, materials? Like, it's so unfair. And I'm, I don't want to spend my life doing this. Like, it's an important job, yes, but I can help and inspire people just as much, if not more, by being a health and fitness coach than being an elementary school teacher. So I'm going to quit my job after this year. It's going to happen. I've already decided. Sorry about my crazy dogs. They're like fighting background. But um, I just have one more thing and then I'll be done. Stop. Stop. Um, the last thing is to become a student. So obviously that's like a big thing for me because I'm a teacher. It's important no, ma- no matter what you do to become a student and study up on these things, these things, like learn about them. If you're going to be posting about a pain point, so if you have depression or anxiety or something like that, that's maybe more of an invisible battle and eating disorder, you need to like study about that so you're knowledgeable about it and you can share with people and post about it from a point of knowledge. So like for me, I need to do some research on depression and anxiety and how exercising and changing your diet can truly help with that. It's true. I know it's true because I've seen the effects of it in my own life, but I need to actually like research this. Like how does exercising change your mindset and help with depression? How does exercise help with anxiety? How does eating healthy foods and changing your diet help with depression and anxiety? Those are things that I need to research because those are things that I struggle with and things that I'm posting about, I need to be knowledgeable, knowledgeable about them. I also need to be more knowledgeable about Shakeology. There's like so many resources out there that I haven't even taken advantage of, and I've been a coach for five months. It's like that's another thing I need to be a student about. Shakeology, portion control, like these are just things that you need to always, like you always need to be a lifelong learner, which is something that we've always talked about in the education field, like in the classroom, you're not going to keep using these outdated practices. You're always going to be sharp and, you know, like, sorry about the dogs. You're always going to be, like, figuring out best practices, um, reading new articles about the research in the field, 
you know, like ways to reach your students in the best way. And that's the best way I can, hey, I can relate it to because I am a teacher, but it's the same in this too. Like, don't just be stagnant. Don't just keep doing what you've been doing. Like new research is coming out all the time. Stay up on it. And that's how you will reach new people. So that's my list. That's pretty cool. much all I have. You might want to mute me because my dogs are fighting. I gotcha. Um, so actually one of my favorite transformation photos from somebody on our team, um, and I know that I've shouted you out a couple of times already in this call, but I have to just because I literally cried when I saw this. Um, this is actually Taylor's transformation photo and just goes to show guys that like, just like me, I don't have any weight to lose. But like when I saw this and she had over a hundred likes on this photo on Instagram, um, she had about 30 on Facebook. And this to me, just like this hit home. Um, and just like how she said, being a student, being non knowledgeable, sharing numbers, sharing numbers. So it's not just emotional, but she basically wrote down like how much she was eating at the time, like a number calorie. And if you have an eating disorder, you know how many calories you're eating. You know the calorie count in a banana. You know the calorie count in a vitamin water. If you have an eating disorder, you can literally, I could, just because of having one for five years, I can list off the calories, grams of fat, carbs, and protein, and pretty much everything that I eat. And I hate it, but I can. But this photo, I just think is the coolest photo ever. I showed Ashley this when we were at Summit, because I'm just like, I can't get over this photo. I just think that it is, I just think it's awesome. Um, I think you killed it with that post. I think you look like a fucking rock star. Um, like I'm so inspired when I saw that I was like, okay, I need to work on my back. Um, because it's awesome, but you literally killed that post. Just everything about it. It was, she related, just like I said, you need to emphasize the, the common, the similarities that you have with your, with your niche. And she did it to the T to the T follow that post. It's on her Facebook under uploads, or she did post just the after photo on her Instagram. And it was just, I, I think you killed it. I started crying when I read it. Um, so yeah, I hope that this helped. If you guys have any questions, I am going to post this. I encourage you to watch this. Um, I'm going to be going live over the next, just over the next week to kind of talk a little bit more about fit and lean since we didn't get to talk about that tonight. Um, talking more about the new coach training. So you guys really know how to take advantage of it because the biggest thing is you have all of the tools. You literally have everything that you need to do. And if you don't know what to do, you have us reach out about it or go to YouTube, go to Pinterest, go to the news and training of team beach body. Come to me, ask for a one-on-one -on -one call. That's why I'm here. I know that you might think that you're annoying, but how do you think I feel? I feel like I'm like, I don't want to force coaching down your throat. So I don't want to like text you all the time. So I'm like, I don't want to push them away by making them feel like they have to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with me, but I want to, I want to talk to all of you because I've been in a slump. I've literally sent out three invites this entire month. I'm not saying that because I want you to do that. I'm saying that because I'm mad at myself. I'm not mad at myself because of, I'm mad at myself because I'm supposed to be a leader. And I'm not leading right now. And I'm letting all of my self-doubt, my mean girl, take control. Okay, so just be the best version of yourself. Know what you want out of this and just wake up every day and go after it. It's going to feel like you are putting in and putting in and you're giving up all of this time and you're giving up, you know, Friday nights and you're giving up um, your mornings to sleep in and it feels like you're not getting anything back. Okay, that's the uphill battle of being an entrepreneur. But guys, when you get to the top of that mountain, holy shit, it's like success and achievements are just like slapping you in the face and you're like, I don't even know what to do with all of this. Okay, Haley Christian, perfect example, guys. She was a coach for three years. Three years she was diamond. Just diamond for three years bartending. And then something just clicked because somebody made a stupid comment to her as a bartender one night and she was like, fuck this, I'm done. And from March until just last week, she went from diamond to nine star qualifying. She went from like 300, not even $200 a week to $300 a week to legit $3,000 to $3,500 a week in four months. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
you can do this. She's literally like a tequila alcoholic. Okay, if she can do this, you can do this. Okay, and like as she was saying, just like be normal, she's kind of weird. She's kind of weird, <laughs> but she's awesome and she just runs with it, all right? I love you all seriously so much and I think you all are fucking awesome. So keep posting, keep being you. Reach out if you have questions. We're all here. Find a success partner. Please find a success partner. If it's not in our team, there is, a, if you go on Facebook, there is a Beachbody success partner group. There are hundreds of thousands of coaches in there from all across the country on a million different teams. Literally post a selfie, share what your goals are, what your schedule is, how much time you want to put into this, what you rank you want to be by a certain date and say, I'm looking for a success partner. Somebody will friend request you. Somebody will comment on the post. Somebody will like it, whatever. Okay. That's how I found my first success partner. She's not in our team. I don't really talk to her anymore, but, um, help me get to diamond. Help me get to diamond because she was running too. Okay. Um, she quit now, but you know, it happens. So go, go do that. You need a success partner, just like an accountability buddy. You need somebody that's asking you, did you invite today? Did you do your follow-ups? Did you friend, send a friend request? Okay. Now I'm going to go upstairs because my pizza is ready. Alrighty. <laughs> Love you all. Talk to you later.